Welcome everybody to uh, Downbeat Denver. This is episode eight. We appreciate you stopping by to check us out. If this is your first time, uh, our goal is to bring out the best of Colorado's music, and today is going to be no exception. Bunch of high energy. I mean, these guys, they can bring it. And so we've got an alternative pop punk band from here in Denver. We have Hello Central today on Downbeat Denver. <laughs> Take. 
All right, we're here with Hello Central. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for having Thank us, you. guys. If we want to start off, just go around and introduce yourselves. Yeah, um, I'm Cody. I sing. I play guitar. I'm Rob. I'm the drummer. I'm Frank. I play bass. And I'm Justin. I play guitar. It's awesome, guys. How did you uh, get together? How'd y'all form? Where are you from? So Ooh. we're all from New York. Uh, we've been best friends like our entire life, pretty much. Uh, I met Frank in college, but yeah. we met in like grade school, us three. So <laughs> we've been kicking it for a while. And uh, finally, after going to college and everything, we all came to Denver for different reasons and got together and started making music. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Cool. What, uh, since being here, what's like, what do you love about the Denver scene? What, what was the draw here and what, what have you found? Well, there is one, so that's nice. <laughs> uh, we come from like a smaller city, so there wasn't a big music scene. And so everyone we've met has been so supportive and helpful. Like the bands we've met are so nice and we just love them. So everyone's just great. Another thing too that we're really fortunate for just in general for the scene is just that we have really a really loyal following. We've had, mm-hmm. we have about 50 people that we pretty much can call on at any point to come to any of our shows. Oh, awesome. Come to any of our stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So really nice. we're really, yeah. really fortunate. We have a lot of people that listen to our music. So we're really, really fortunate for that. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you really look like you've got your stuff together. I mean, the website, the way you're rolling out your music, can you tell us a little bit about that strategy, the plan, kind of share some tips for maybe some other local bands? We all try and have a role, like, you know, with social media, contact with other venues and people that can help. Um, so we all do the work ourselves. We don't have a manager yep. or anything like that. I don't know if you've heard of, like, the concept of, like, a... Uh I think it's like Albert Einstein who talks about how the more that you you don't know and then you go learn that new material, you figure out how much you don't know or need to, yeah, I guess, like grow on. Circle, yeah. like, As we just keep opening these cans of worms that we're learning about how to promote ourselves, what the scenes are like, what we need to do to reach our goals, it's almost like we're learning even more, opening even bigger can of worms as well in terms of <laughs> how do we even get ourselves out to everyone as much as we possibly can and as frequently as we can. That's awesome. What, mm-hmm. are, what are some things that, that like maybe has worked really well and some things that didn't work? I would say something that works really well um, is just to have a, a really solid Instagram following. Um, and through that, through like the major social media outlets that you're using, that's how you can get other people to listen to your music through mm-hmm. those through those mediums. So that's been really helpful. We've been able to get a lot of listens on Spotify and Apple Music through that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's really helped us a lot. And then in terms of that after it, I don't know, do you have like a bad, I, bad one? I was going to say, we tried to take our own photos. You might see some of <laughs> If you go to the that's very, awesome. like, la- go to our Facebook yeah. and like look at the oldest photos we've uploaded. They're kind of funny, but like, we took them all ourselves to start and it was all right, but since uh, I was like, getting new photographers. It's worth the money. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure that there was one picture where it was just M3 and Cody's mom, and they There's photoshopped a couple of, <laughs> They photoshopped my face <laughs> onto Cody's mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, some gems yeah. in the depth of my face. <laughs> we had to reach out to some awesome. professional yeah. photographers. We were really fortunate. Um, one of our friends, Siobhan Webb, uh, she actually is a photographer. I graduated with her at NAU, awesome. and uh, she was able to help us out, and she definitely taught us a lot. It was great. Um, and from there, we've just been working with other photographers, anyone that really, like you guys, anyone yeah. that can really help us in any way to help us grow. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, what, 2,000 Instagram followers? Yes. Is that where you're at? Yeah. That's pretty yeah I would say about That's a year ago, we, we had about 400. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 What'd you do to kind of foster that community? Those professional recordings and yeah. professional pictures, as well as playing more shows, is just kind of... Yeah. Mm-hmm. we. You could feel the momentum. Like, at first, mm-hmm. we were had basement demos, homemade shots, like, photographs, and that was fine. But since we got professional with all of that, it's been just... In, yeah. like instant yeah. growth and we're really good at reaching out to people mm-hmm. I mean like you guys like we're you yeah. know reaching out to everybody trying to make as many connections as possible and then yeah. I think that honest interaction with people they yeah. really respect that and then they'll actually start following you rather yeah, yeah. than just looking at your stuff and right. moving on if you like reach out to them so it's, we, awesome. it's pretty much what they say to do with our followers too I mean the people that, that support us the people that come to our shows people that play our music on Spotify and Apple Music for us people that promote us I mean it's it's all been something that we we're just super fortunate for, and it's been all part of the process of honestly adding to the momentum. It's like the people yeah. I think can feel it too. Yeah. So yeah. it helps us out. It's like a, a lot. It's yeah. a quality interaction rather yep. than like a, a quantity. Exactly. You know? mm-hmm. We felt that, and you guys were really good at communicating. So. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some business majors. Majors. <laughs> 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 So can you guys talk about a little bit about um, the way you're rolling your music out? There's you know, yeah. so many ways to do it, but I thought what you guys So we really kind of take the approach of, we, uh, like you said, recorded a basement EP first just to get some stuff out there, five songs, did it all ourselves. And now that we're working with the Spot Studios in Lakewood, um, we're just kind of rolling out single by single. Because okay. how Spotify kind of altered, specifically one of the ways they did it, is like when you release 
an album per se. Like you have one song you can submit to curators for a playlist. But if you release single after single, you can release each of them or like mm-hmm. submit each of them to like the curators. So it just kind of gives you more of a shot to get that playlisted so, yeah, song. Sure. Yeah. And that's how a lot of bands, you know, you go from a couple thousand listens up to 30, 50 K and you're like, okay, we got some momentum now. So yeah, yeah it's also good because it keeps our sound fresh, lets us experiment a little bit more. Yeah. And, uh, keeps yeah, everyone super interested, fun, you know, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So are you going to take all of those singles and pile them to an EP? We'll or an see, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We're just kind of a lot of options. Maybe yeah. 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 I, I guess the benefit yeah, is that good. it's a good problem to have, is that you know we, we make sure that if there's one thing I think we, we all agree on is just that we always have content, whether that's new music, whether that's photos, whether that's videos, anything, yeah. interviews, sure. like that. Like, yeah. Got to make sure we're doing something because you know mm-hmm. people put in a lot of time to helping us out, so we have to make sure that we're actually giving them something to be excited about. Sure. I mean, from what I can tell, they're excited. You're doing yeah, good yeah. <laughs> we're trying, man. We're really yeah, thankful. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, let's move on to the question snare. We're gonna pull right. Right. two from each. Sure. Just go ahead and pass it around. Yeah, and, if you guys uh, pull two, yeah. All right. Two each. Yeah. Why not? That, man. Right. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> no cheating. No cheating. <laughs> no. Oh. All right. We got you. Whoever's feeling, feeling the question, start it off. Is there an app that you hate but use anyways? Yes. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook. Oh, this yeah. is the worst yeah, thing ever. Yeah. Um, I hope none of you use it anymore eventually because um, music goes there to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to a local band or musician. Uh, Barry Mia is having their EP release at the Marquee. We'll be playing with them uh, July, what is it? July 12th. 12th, yeah. July so 12th. Uh, come out to the Marquee. They're awesome. And it's got a good lineup of bands. So we're stoked for it. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Where do you not mind waiting? Walmart. <laughs> you see the most interesting people in society. It's never boring, and I always end up buying a ton of crap I don't need. So. Uh, social platform of your choice. I'm a big Snapchat fan. And I'm not going to explain why. If you know, you know. <laughs> cool. Uh, I have, tell us about your rehearsal schedule. How frequently, where, etc. Um, I would say just in terms of what we do, just behind the scenes, practice-wise, I would say you'd expect to, to see us practicing about three to four times a week. Mm-hmm. So out of the seven days, we get at least three to four days of repetition. And so that makes it better for us. And then obviously with the show schedule coming up, sometimes we're doing every day. It just really depends on what the show is, how much time we have, if, we, if we're feeling prepared or not. Um, I would say that's generally our rehearsal schedule. Nice. Cool. So I have, how heavily does the opinion of your peers affect your music? I would say it really doesn't. We play music we're passionate about. Yeah. You know, we play music uh, with energy. We play music kind of based on all our influences. We have a ton of eclectic influences, and uh, we're just playing stuff we want to hear. But we definitely pay attention oh, yeah. to the fan favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How you yeah. Go? yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you were home on a rainy Sunday afternoon, what movie would you want to see on television? Personally, I'm a big Lord of the Rings nerd, so you know, <laughs> you know, I'm doing a marathon. All right. I'm chilling out. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole day. Yeah. So. Yeah. As a group, I think uh, probably Tropic Thunder for a group. Oh, yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. We're all due for a viewing. That's not yeah, exactly. yeah. It is raining. It is raining today. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Uh, I think I have one of the last ones here. What can we do as a music community to help one another reach our collective goals? And I think what we're doing right now is a great example of that. What I was saying earlier, how helpful all the other bands we've talked to have been, other people in the music community. Um, It's just been great to interact with those people. So as long as we all just talk to each other and stay connected, uh, we'll build each other up and reach the top. Awesome. Completely agree. Yeah. Cool, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming out today. It was, yeah, uh, absolutely. yeah, those first two tracks were definitely fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the last song you're going to do? Oh, um, so the last song we played, the third one, was called Love Child. And that's actually coming out as a single in a month or so. Um, probably like end of June, around there. Possibly early possibly, July, really. Yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, we uh, squeezed in another one, like just kind of a riff that we wrote a couple of days ago um, that we also messed around with here. That could come out in like six months. Who knows? It's very yeah. it's in its early stages. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we're excited to have a sneak peek at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to check us out on Apple Music, Spotify. Honestly, we're on all digital media, but I think those are the two biggest ones that I think most of you are going to be using. So just make sure to check us out on there. We're everywhere, man. We tried. <laughs> so we're really thankful. Thank you so much, and I'll let you guys do your thing. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you guys rock. <laughs> we definitely enjoyed listening to the music. So. Awesome.
Do we promise you energy or what? <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. So uh, please, please, please check out our Instagram. That's downbeat underscore Denver. Uh, keep up with us for the park. That's July 20th. We all want to get together and hang out, you know, have some fun in the park. Guys, where can they find you? We'll be there. All right. <laughs> what's your, uh, what's where, your socials? Yeah, where can people keep in touch, listen to your music? Uh, so you can find us on Instagram, Hello Central, at Hello Central. Uh, that's probably our most active social media site. Otherwise, hellocentral.live is our one page website. Awesome. Find us there too. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Cheers. 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 C